Hi all and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. Uh, today I am going to try to redo these mirrors for one of my neighbors from the Buy Nothing project. Uh, initially she just wanted some paint that she was going to slap on them but I figured because I want to start practicing redoing furniture and stuff like that I thought I would um, clean them up for her, do them for her. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do yet for them. Um, I'm going to use some of my leftover paint, so white or turquoise or light blue, maybe gray. I haven't decided. Um, I asked her what she wanted and she said it was basically up to me. She just wanted them cleaned up. So um, you can see they're a bit beat up, a bit rough. One of the mirrors is falling out of one of them, so I'm going to have to reattach that. All right, they're a bit dirty. They're really, like, scuffed up. So we'll see what I can do with them. Um, they're just uh, Malma, Malma mirrors from Ikea, so... They're pretty simple guys. But thought I'd give them a shot. So what I'm going to do is clean them up. Um, then I'm going to uh, sand them, get them a little rough, and then I'm going to paint them. So here's first steps, getting ready to clean. Uh, so I've taped everything off. I knocked out the mirror on this one. It's safe. Right, it's right here. I have to clean it still. Ooh. But anyway, so there's the mirror for this guy. Um, I wiped them down, sanded them. You can see they're all a little beat up, or a bit more beat up than they were before. Um, I protected the mirrors. Um, and now I'm going to put my first coat of paint on. These are the colors that I'm working with. There's like a white, a turquoise, this blue from my kitchen, and then this gray. Um, that's just the gray that I painted that mantelpiece piece, or the tile, the molding around the tiles at my fireplace. Um, I was messing around with this color too, but um, I don't like it. So we're going to do a fun pattern of these, but first steps is I'm going to do a initial coat of white on everything, um, and then I will show you the pattern. Maybe film as I work out the pattern, I'm not sure. Alright, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I have everything primed and now I have my color layout. Uh, so next um, I'm going to start uh, doing or painting this out lightest to darkest. Um, taping off um, the sections as they're finished. Um, I'm hoping that will give me the cleanest lines. So yeah, they look darker on camera, but in the light they mm, they look better, not as washed out. Anyway, on to the next part. So I thought I would update you on the progress, kind of in the middle of it. Um, at this point, I'm beginning to like, you know, second guess my plan. I don't know if you can kind of see the shape that this is going to be these mirrors. But um, yeah, I only have two colors left. I have a turquoise and the darker gray. 
I said this is the lighter gray. It came out a bit darker than I planned, but I think it'll it'll work out. But yeah, so second guessing my uh, uh, method, but um, I'm going to just trust the process and see what happens. Uh, so I thought you might like to see me rip the tape off, see if my uh, planning and hard work actually came to fruition. So here's a fun little time lapse of me ripping tape off. some bleed over and some touch-ups I need to make so like there this turquoise color seems to have bled a lot so I have all of that to clean up my little pieces like that all right there this one's not too bad actually just a few little pieces, little sections. This one's really bad. This one's not too shabby. So from here, I'm going to clean them up, uh, clear coat them, and then remove the mirror and then add the mirror to that one um, that's left. I cleaned up that mirror so it looks nice and shiny now. All the gunk is off so I'm gonna glue that back down um, and then I will come back for my uh, final reveal. All right so here's the finished uh, project. Here are the mirrors all done. Um, I hope you can kind of see how the pattern works out. I designed them so that you have like 
a central color like this turquoise here um, and then you could build off of that you could do it with every single one of these um, you could also lay them out differently so we'll start with like the white put that there then the gray and this one and that one and this one see pretty cool and then say that you really want to do like a dark gray together so this comes out these come together then these two like this and then you have this one separate so there you go you have your grays together and then you have your single gray alone and you can do it for every single configuration they all work like this so i'm really hoping my neighbor likes them i really like how they came out um, it took me about three weeks from start to finish um, but that's because I kind of got a bit lazy and started dragging my feet on completing them. Um, I like all of the colors. It's hard to tell in this light because um, like this is actually turquoise, but the lighting is making it look really blue. Um, so um, I'm going to try to post a couple of pictures or something after um, I'm done chatting for you to see the better uh, lighting for them. All the other colors look pretty true, um, but that turquoise is looking really dark. Um, anyway, what do you think of this project? Do you like it? Do you like my interpretation of what the mirrors um, could be? If that makes any sense. Um, do you want to see more projects like this? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm getting really close to hitting 100 subscribers. Well, I'm 75% of the way, but that's exciting for me. So um, if you subscribed or you are thinking of subscribing, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I respond to all comments. I, um, I'm always so happy when I see a new subscriber. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to go. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like the video. Um, if you made it to the end and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.